That is what trout almondine on the fin looks like. Make a little trout almondine this afternoon. It's kind of a throwback recipe, a uh, variation of my grandma's recipe. Uh, reminds me when I would go run out, catch some trout, clean them, go to her house, and she would make trout almondine for me. So we've had, you know, grandma time in the kitchen. So we're gonna need a saucepan. Gonna need some Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, lemon, a little butter, and of course, some almonds. Get those together and we'll get started. So I'm redoing the first part of this video. Uh, had some technical difficulties, lost the video. Uh, it was definitely nothing that I did. Uh, but there, there was a technical issue. So it's going to look different this first part than the rest of it does. And that's the reason why. So hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the main ingredients here are Worcestershire sauce, butter, and a little bit of lemon. Oh, low fire. Right about there. It's about a cup of Worcestershire sauce. You're going to want to get that heated up to where it's simmering. You want to keep this moving. You do not want to scald this. I talked a little bit about that in the original video I shot that is lost. Probably because somebody did something. I don't know. But you want to keep it moving do not want to scald the sauce so as this is heating up <clears throat> you come in with your butter my wife likes to buy these little sticks of butter uh, basically it's a quarter of a cup four tablespoons probably half of a stick of a regular stick of butter so drop that in there and here again you need to keep it moving because here's where you're going to start getting critical if that butter burns you'll be able to taste it now that your butter's melted you want to stir it so that it mixes. You'll notice that your butter sits on top of that Worcestershire sauce a little bit. So you don't want it to separate. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. You're just going to stir it, keep it moving until it thickens up a little bit. So right here as it's simmering and thickening up nicely, take the lemon, cut it in half, and squeeze half of that lemon in there. Stir that in. Once that mixes nicely, you cut the fire off and you set your sauce on the side to cool. Next, I take a smaller saucepan and just a tiny bit of butter. And what we're going to do is toast those almonds. So we're going to melt this butter.
All you want to do is coat the bottom of the pan. If you add a little too much butter, throw it out. Next, we are going to add the almonds. Here again, you don't want to burn the butter, but you want to get it a little bit hot so we can toast these almonds. Okay. Getting a nice dark color on them. And when they get there, you pull them. <clears throat> Put them on the side. Then the next step is getting the fish together. So I'm frying this fish, but you can also broil it or grill it however you like your fish cooked up to y'all. It's a personal preference thing. Fish is ready. You need to heat your almondine sauce back up. Sprinkle some almonds. Pour a little sauce on. So you sprinkle your almonds on there. Pour a little sauce on. Garnish it with a little lemon. Guys, if there is a young lady you are trying to get some sugar from, this is the recipe to do it with. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for watching. Bye guys. Thank you for watching our video of cooking fish. And I hope you see it.